Hi guys, today I'm going through a designer outlet haul. Alex and I went shopping to buy my mum some birthday presents and ended up getting a few things for ourselves. Okay, so these things aren't from the designer outlet but they're cool and I got them at the same time. These things. So it's drinking fudge. We got them from the fudge kitchen which they also do on the website and you basically warm up a mug of milk and then squeeze in this chocolate caramel fudge. I mean, yum to die for. I haven't ever tried it, but I'm going to and maybe I will try it on a vlog and you guys will find out if it's amazing or not, but I already love it. So on to the designer stuff. First of all, we visited Kate Spade and I got myself the most amazing sunglasses. I absolutely love these sunglasses. First of all, they come in this awesome case which has got the Tiffany's green to it and inside is cool as well it says wink wink and it's kind of suede and these glasses oh love these glasses let me put them on oh, I don't care if they don't suit me I love them I just don't care I think they're so cool I think they look all right on me though but they're kind of silver and gold and white and everything great <coughs> And the most amazing things about these were they're only 44 pounds and they're so heavy and everything is such good quality. I think for 44 pounds, I got myself such a bargain. So we got my mum's first birthday present from Kate Spade. They wrapped it up nicely in this box here and it is this pink and white top. Hopefully I can fold it up just as nice as they did. It's got a little bow there and sort of a wide neck and then it's got the little Kate Spade logo at the bottom there, if I can show you guys. A gold spade. And it's really, really good quality. Last year I bought a top like this, very, very similar from Jules. And my mum was really, really jealous. Actually, this is a lot nicer than the top I got from Jules. So I think she'll be pleased with this. And she's wearing jeans loads at the moment. She's really got into jeans. And I think that this will go nicely. And this was reduced from, they've taken off the price tag, but it was something like £159 to £39. Such a bargain. Now I've got to try and fold this up. I need one of those um, t-shirt folders. No, not quite. Oh God, that'll do. Ah, she's in. Next up is Longchamp. I got a variety of bags from Longchamp for Christmas from Alex and I love them and I have my little blue one as well that I love to use at the weekend. The best thing about these is that they fold up really small so when you're not using them you can pack them away really really tiny and also you can take them on holiday and they take up no room in your suitcase. So I got my mum this for her birthday as well and I actually got myself one but that's it open there and I thought she's going to Vegas and Florida later on this year and I think that's a nice little poolside bag or going out bag or whatever this is comes in the medium size but yeah it's got a little horse there that's the Longchamp logo and the gunmetal zip as well what I recently found out on the Longchamp website is that you can personalise Longchamp, you can put people's initials on it and you can choose the colour, the leather and the trimming, whether you want it gold or gunmetal and I think that's a really cool present so I got my mum that and I also got myself one. This was reduced to £38 which I think for a designer bag you can't beat it. I also got this liquid here from Longchamp which is a nylon bag cleaner. I have stained my other bag and I tried to clean it with a makeup wipe and it really hasn't gone very well for me. So apparently this will work. Um, I'm not overly convinced but the bag is already stained so I can't make it much worse than I've actually already made it. This is £8 this bottle. Ugh, and I got these awesome flip flops. I think the colour is so cool there and I love the straps on it as well and they've also got um, extra sort of elastic pull there and I think that these are really nice colours and a little bit more going outy. I'll probably take these to Disney as sort of my going out flip flops. I adore Ugg, I probably go on about it in every single video. Most of my footwear is Ugg because I have big feet and they go up to big sizes and they're good quality and they're guaranteed for up for a year so if anything goes wrong you can get a full refund as long as you've kept your original receipt. Oh and they were 
they were £35. I don't know what they were reduced from, but I would say they probably would have been at least £70 originally. We went to Barber and Alex got a pair of pink socks, pink and white socks, I think they're cool. I actually picked them up originally because I thought that they were women's socks because I would so wear these. And these were £6 reduced from 10 Last but not least, we went to the cosmetics company store, which has really improved recently. They stock a whole load of Jo Malone. But I went in there to find a present for my mum from Heidi, and what I got was this MAC mascara here. It is Modern Twist Lash Curly Mascara in a very intense blue colour. Um, I don't really want to ruin it by opening it. It's by MAC Toledo. I know, in fact, I don't, yeah. Okay, so that's the bottle. I I'm sure my mum won't mind if I give it a quick open. Oh. Oh God, why is that yellow? I can't give her a yellow mascara. Oh my God, this has all gone wrong. Is this yellow? That's so confusing. Oh my God, I got her lime mascara. I can't give her lime mascara. Why would you want lime mascara? The one I was looking at in the shop was blue. She would have loved blue. Who would buy lime? Well, thankfully, I bought myself a mascara, super black sculpting lash. So my mum's now going to get this one. Is that a bit boring just to get black mascara? Here it is. Oh, look how nice that looks. Oh, wow. Heidi. Oh, God, I don't know what to do. I've had a bit of a nightmare there. So this one was. £15 reduced from 21 and this one is £10.50 reduced from 15 I also got myself a MAC eyebrow pencil. I religiously use Liz Earl, but this is a Twizzly one and it's still a crayon but you don't have to sharpen it. I think it's the same colour as my Liz Earl. I just thought that I'd give another eyebrow pencil a go because unless you try it, you don't know. And this was £10 reduced from 14 So that is my designer haul. Um, I'm gonna have a think about the mascara because I don't know what to do about that. Would your mums wear lime mascara? I'm not even sure I would wear lime mascara. I might just have to give her boring black or get her something else. Or maybe I'll get her something else. I'll get her something else, that's a better idea. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon. Bye!